Welcome back to the next in our little film series we're doing here called Percy's Progress. The little dog now is 44 weeks old. Uh, it's been probably about 10 days since we did the last video. And basically since then what I've been working on is uh, his hunting. Still been working on that. Bit of steadiness with the stop whistle uh, and putting a dummy out for him to, to retrieve every now and again. But my main thing I've been doing is really just trying to get that flow now in, in his hunting. The technique we used, which you've seen in the previous video, uh, has really got him into a habit now of hunting in front of me. He's been used to finding things right in front of me. And I've actually found as I've started to move on, that's just quite natural to him. Uh, I'm not having to use a lot of whistle on him. I'm actually trying to avoid using my whistle as much as I can, to be honest. And he's just beginning to really get going now. I'm leaving the little hunting periods longer. So he's having to go for a little bit longer before. I just tuck a little dummy down for him to find. Still finding everything nice and close to me. We've come up to the wood here today. Um, it's not the ideal day for doing this because it is really quite warm. Uh, but it will hopefully show you the progress on from the next, uh, the, the previous step, sorry. So what we do, we get the little dog set up, um, click him off. And, and that just reminds me, he's totally got now the click. Uh, he knows now that means I'm off, I'm going to be hunting. The other thing I've been able to do now is I'm just able to just give him a little bit of direction with my hand. He's got out of the habit that we had um, a few weeks back where he was jumping up and trying to bite my hand. When you start off and they, they cast off the side, just stand your ground for a minute because you want him to come back and then come back and cover the ground on the opposite side. If you move forward when you first cast them off, they'll actually miss some ground uh, because obviously you push them, push them on slightly further. So cast them off, just hold your ground, let him come back across you and then you can start your, your forward movement. Just keep him nice and tight at the moment. Good boy, yes. Nice and slowly, you don't have to hurry this. Good boy. Make sure he covers all his ground. Good lad. Every now and again, just let that little stop whistle just to see how he responds to that. That was lovely. They're calling back across me. Good lad. Another little exercise I've been doing is to start to try and incorporate uh, more elements of Percy's training. So for the last 10 days, I've just been letting him hunt, really get into his flow. And now I want to just start to put in place some of the things I've been teaching him. So what we're going to do is going to hunt him. I'm going to stop him on the stop whistle. And then what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put a little blind uh, retrieve back for him. I'm going to use those little snipe dummies because they're nice and small so he's not going to be able to see them. I'm going to hunt him, I'm going to stop him in front of me and then I'm going to give him a go back command. Now we practice that in the garden and it's something I've been working on a little bit. Percy Sid, good lad. Uh, it's something we've been we've been working on as well. When I get him out in the shooting field hopefully he's going to be hunting nicely, he'll flush game, I'll shoot it, fall on the ground, he's got to get a retrieve. So he's got to learn to break off from his hunting sometimes and go out and make his retrieve. And it's all about where your balance is. If you've got a dog that just wants to hunt all the time, it's not going to be interested in going out and getting the retrieving. And this is why in the early days you must really get that retrieving instinct into the dogs. I've not done a lot of this, so we're still very early days, but we'll set him up and see how we get on with him. Good lad. Good lad, go on. It's quite warm for him now, so he's slowing up a little bit. Good boy. Nice stop whistle. Give him a minute to settle and we'll try and let's go back. Go back. Good boy, good boy, yeah, good lad.
Good boy. Uh, that was great, I'm really happy with that. Yeah, he did go off slightly left-handed, but the fact was he broke off from his hunting. He knew he had to go and make a retrieve because of that training we've done with the go back. Happy with that, that'll do you for today. Good, good lad, some good progress. Good boy, yeah, good boy. Before I finish this film, I just wanna share some footage that I took with my head cam uh, about four days ago. I was over here with Percy doing some hunting training and we just nearly finished the session and he flushed a cock pheasant. Now, I never picked up from his body language that it was there, um, but um, it was a lovely flush, lovely contact flush. I hit my stop whistle and he stopped lovely to it. And the bird flew off, he watched it away. It was a, a absolutely perfect scenario. I went over to him, told him he was a good lad, uh, told him to leave it, just reinforce it again, leave it, and clicked him off to start in um, hunting again. And he basically went round the back of me and disappeared over the wild blue yonder chasing the bird. Well, we got him back and uh, when I got home and started to look at the footage, I realised really that I'd made a classic mistake. What I should have actually done is popped him straight on the lead. That would have finished that exercise quite nicely and finished on a good note.